the victors valiant, the conquering heroes, and they call home the big house. Bathed in maize and blue, welcome to Ann Arbor, home of the Michigan Wolverines. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see the number 17 team in the country, the Oregon Ducks, taking on the winners of four straight, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Wolverines will get us underway with the opening kickoff. No shot at a return. It's out of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. So the Oregon Ducks offense will get the first possession of the game. There he is, the man who makes everything go, and they believe they're going to score every time they touch it when he's on the field, Jesse. He plays with unbelievable confidence, Reese. Always knows where to go with the football. The entire playbook is at this guy's disposal. Yeah, which is so much fun for a coach, so much fun to play with him, a guy that can do everything. Everybody on the field is active in a weapon. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Here's the handoff. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, then. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes, and you want to shut this crowd up early. You don't want to give them belief, because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. They'll run it from the gun. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Nice move to keep running. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. The Ducks are moving quickly down the field. He's going to pass. They get to him as he throws. Finds a crease at the 20. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Oregon! You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game get himself established you make a couple throws you lead your offense down the field you score right off the bat could not have been a better start for that qb he'll bring it out from inside his own 10. able to find enough room to get it out across the 25 he's brought down at the 26. so the michigan wolverines offense will have its first possession of the game these two dudes who both come off the edge can wreck an offensive stage, Jesse. Man, these quarterbacks better have an internal clock working today. If you hold on to the football, you are getting sacked. Yeah, best athletes on the field are defensive linemen, and when you got guys like this that can get after the quarterback, points will be at a premium. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Well, this offense is sending a little bit of a message here. Of course, we know how much they've struggled on third down all season long. They're just never able to seem to get into a rhythm. But after that last running play, moving the sticks, you just wonder what that does for their confidence. And he never had a chance. Just stopped cold as soon as he got it. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. 
On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. That's caught. It's Erlacher. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Yeah, and I think those quarterback sneaks used to be for the big, strapping quarterbacks. But, man, nowadays, dude, all you got to do is fall forward, and it's such a hard play to stop. So you see this all across all levels of football, and it's just a difficult play to stop. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. What a nice run there. And from the beginning of time, Michigan football has been synonymous with running the football. You can think back to Tyrone Wheatley, Anthony Thomas, Chris Perry, Hassan Haskins, big physical runners that also had sprinter speed and that could change the game. This dude right here, every time he has the football, he has the ability to go the distance, and that's what makes this Michigan offense so dangerous. Got three on first down at second and seven. Bring it. Softened him up with a run, now to throw. Using the quick game. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. He'll come through on third downs. He's got it up, and they'll mark it at the 23. Man, he had to get rid of that thing. I don't even think he had time to find the laces, but he picks up the first down. Yeah, that's a great job. You know, third and short, the defense is bringing pressure. He sees the pressure, gets the football out, and gets just enough for the first down. Got some room, headed to the goal line, and he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Michigan! They just took the air out of that thing. That might be an understatement. They took the ball away and just wore down, just grinded away at that defense. It took a lot of time off the clock in the process as well. I'm impressed with the physicality up front of this offense because that's where it all starts. If you're going to march the ball down the field like they just did, you've got to be dominating in the trenches, and they are doing that in this game right now. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Bangs it through for an extra point. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And the house call coming on the run from the 23. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. Just unloaded on that kickoff. Don't have to worry about a return on a kick like that. They'll bring it out to the 25. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go. They get a rough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. One of the things I love about this defense is they're so versatile in the ways they can get after the quarterback. In their last game, they came away with five sacks, came from all over the place, they got the win. So you know in this one, they're going to dial up a lot of different looks. It's going to be tough for this offense to try to keep their quarterback standing up straight. So now they're staring at a second and long from their 20. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. Makes a grab and he's dragged down. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Third and long and he'll try to throw for it. Got his hand down the middle. They make the stop, but not before he wraps up this first period with a huge game. 
We played one, and we are right back where we started, all tied up after the first period as we take a look at the stats. We've got a good one going here and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. He'll pull it on the read. Hey, that's a live ball. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. Man, he coughed it up. God, big mistake, but here's the thing. I'm going to run my quarterback. i got to pick my spots, but he's got to understand when I can take hits, when I get in traffic, and i got to wrap that thing up. And I'm a running back, right? When I'm running these design quarterback runs, i got to take care of the football. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got to be cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. And the Wolverines get it past the sticks. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. They'll go to the counter. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Quick pass on the jet motion. Looking for room at the 30. And I wasn't sure they were going to be able to catch him. They finally did, but they gave up a huge play. How many ways can I get to my guys who can fly, who are playmakers, and let them make big plays? This is another one you've seen. Catch the football, flip it ahead really quickly, get it to a burner, go in full speed across the formation. He gets the edge, makes the big play. The Wolverines are moving quickly down the field. Get set, get set. Oh, ready, ready. A first down run on the doorstep. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I love when you start bringing linebackers up near the line of scrimmage and you start sending them because those guys have serious speed. They can come catch anybody up and down the line of scrimmage. The linebacker, you could tell, he had a good clue what was going on. He knew it was a run play, fired, pulled the trigger, came downhill, and attacked the running back. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Quarterback will audible. On second down, they'll take to the air. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. It's hard throwing in the pocket, man. You got bodies and 300-pound dudes falling all over the place. They're trying to hit you. That time, the pressure got to them, and they forced the incompletion. Twice they've been denied touchdowns in the red zone, and now it's third and goal. He's looking to pass. Safe completion on the screen. And they've got him down after the short completion, but they inch closer and closer to Pater. Well, on third down, they go to the running back screen. They're able to get a couple of yards, but not enough for the first. What do they do? We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. Okay. 
And as they come to the line of scrimmage, they're passing on the field goal. But look, worst case scenario, you don't get it here. They're backed up in their own end. And he's got it. Touchdown, Wolverines. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, eat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. North Carolina is down right now, but that kid on the defensive side, I know this is a big statement, but he looks like a young Lawrence Taylor. Do not rule out a comeback. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Clemson. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. A lot of field in front of them as they open this possession from their own 20. Looking down the middle. A strike downfield. Hit the afterburners, kid. And he's brought down after a huge completion. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Finds his big tight end. I tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for a quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. The Ducks have pushed it inside the 20. Wants to throw on second down. Blasted as he lets it go. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. And the defense, they've got him at the 27. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And they'll kick it from the left side, a 44-yard try. Absolutely perfect. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. An explosive play to start the drive, and they'll try to keep the D on its heels. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. To the 10! They're ripping off chunks of yardage. They get it to the 33. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Gage. 
They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. And as the clock is winding down here in the first half, they'll send out the field goal team. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And the field goal to end the half takes us to halftime. Here, time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and quality of play so far today in Ann Arbor. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in the big house. And the Ducks will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. The drive starts from their own 25-yard line. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Quarterback sneak, trying to get a push. The They'll snap it on first down from the 35. They'll leave it with him. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. And that will be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Quarterback sneaks ahead. The defense just can't seem to find a way to get off the field. That time, QB sneak for the first down. They need a turnover or something to try to generate some momentum. And the Wolverines are flying down the field. Looking for a crease. It's Gore. 
That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. When you think about when you hit those guys on the move, man. He's already flying so fast, and I got to adjust my angle as a DB and make sure I keep outside contained. And it's just a, it's a really easy play to run to get positive yards, especially in a situation like that where you're looking for the first down. You run that play, you get it. Nice, easy breezy. The Wolverines have it with a first and ten. The give on the inside. On the move at the 30. And he's running in the open. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. What a big time run for this offense. A physical run. Getting down. Almost scoring the touchdown. Yeah, and considering how well they're running it right now, why don't you just hand it off to this guy right here again? And the Wolverines trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Quarterback looks for a little space. And he'll be stopped for no gain on the final play of the third quarter. Fourth quarter is coming up. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. Three quarters are in the book. Time becomes a factor, both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. this quarter off with a touchdown right here. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Touchdown, Michigan! And they made it to the house when they found that six points waiting on them. They build this fourth quarter lead, and they are just minutes away from going 5-0. and oh. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Maryland has the lead right now, but if this team has taught us anything over the years, it's that no lead is safe there in College Park. They're up by four over Nebraska. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business. Gentlemen? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Gets it out fast. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Second down coming up. Off play action. Fires to the right. Got his man downfield. He's off to the races. Inside the 10. 
And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Ducks! Well, if the momentum hadn't shifted before, it certainly has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? That's beautiful. Now the defense comes out, get you a stop, get aggressive, but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side, they could lose this ball game. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense too, David. I think they got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt, find those plays, those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. Make sure you execute. Build this lead a little bit bigger. Put this thing away in the fourth quarter. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there, breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. The give on the counter. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Quick pass on the fly motion. That is a big win for this defense as they were right there as soon as he got the ball. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that, start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. The short hands, it's quick. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Wolverines will try to pin them back with the punt. The punters have had the day off up to this point. First one of the game. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. They'll keep the offense on the field on fourth down already with a one-possession lead. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got him, and they convert. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. He unleashed a bullet on that pass and converted the fourth down. Gotta love it. Some people get conservative. Some people don't want to mess up. Fourth down, you could tell. He wanted that window, and he threw it through it as hard as he could. Throws a strike to the wide receiver. Gets the big fourth down conversion. The give to the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll try the run. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And the Wolverines with the first and ten. 
They'll go to the ground. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The quarterback takes a snap and takes a knee. A little sports history, David. Upset is the only horse ever to defeat a man of war. And that's why we call games like this an upset. I really had no clue that was a, a real thing. But I do know this is an upset. This team was unranked, beat a ranked team. But you went out and got your respect. You gained it now. Let's build on this throughout the season. One win, great win. Now let's go ahead and build some momentum in the future. Reese, some might say you're not a one-trick pony with that <laughs> reference. And obviously, this was the team, the unranked team, that had the horses to get this thing done. Too much firepower, just too much explosiveness on offense, great defense. What a tremendous win. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying...